I want to dismystify this thing that has been looming over me for a while called Aces. When I first heard of Aces, I felt like a deer in headlights. So, we're shooting this film in Aces. What country? And honestly, the beginning documentation for this is really, really bad. Sorry, Academy, I have a lot of respect for you. But the truth is that when you're starting out, you can hardly tell what the freaking thing is. Let's start with its name, the Academy Color Encoding System. Ugh, that already sounds like a mouthful. I don't know if I'll be able to do this video. In the good old days of analog, it used to be that what you shot, which was celluloid, stayed consistent throughout all the stages. You shot film, you edited film, you delivered film. It just means that the celluloid that you were shooting didn't change forms or formats or any of this nonsense that we have to deal with the digital age. In contrast, when you take a look at a modern digital production, you start with a hard drive in one file format and as you move further down the other steps of productions, it really gets entangled and changes files a ton of time. So in the wild west of color, here comes the Academy of Motion Arts and Science to try to solve that. Now, this really isn't a tutorial on how to implement an ACES workflow. This will be beyond the scope of what I want to do on this video. But I do think that it is something of a black box where even people that know a lot about film still are afraid of it. Like this is something that only very technical people can understand. So this is my way of showing you a very practical and simplified version of what ACES is. Hopefully after this, you won't be mystified by ACES. In general, you need to figure out five things. I'm, I'm gonna stop counting things now. I feel like the count, like the guy from the Muppets. Five things you need to know about video. <laughs> Resolution, beep that, format, pixel aspiration, and da 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 da, drum rolls. Color space, which is what we're here today. Resolution is how many pixels your image has, wide and high. Bit depth is the amount of information that can fit within each of those pixels. Format is the file that you're handling. Pixel aspect ratio is how wide the pixel is. Not to be confused with aspect ratio, which is the relationship between the width and the height of the image. Now, when it comes to color space, I just need you to understand that there's data. There's data in this pixel grid. And you need to think of this data as a secret message. A secret message that's encoded in this language that only computers understand. Now, we humans need to see that color. Therefore, we need to translate it using an interpreter. All the companies that did digital imaging started developing their own interpreters. All the formats and encryptations needed to be translated. The issue is that if you try to interpret something with dictionary A, let's say, and then try it with dictionary B, you might get a different interpretation. So really what happened over time is that people started defaulting to, well, whatever the software handled better. In comes ACES to save the day. ACES is the Babel table of color spaces. Everyone got together and said, I need to make sure that the thing that I'm seeing is the same across all softwares, all platforms. One file format, one color space, one workflow. And then we don't ever have to worry about this nonsense ever again. So what is ACES? In very, very practical and simplified terms, it's a folder that you download to your computer, somewhere where you won't forget, and then you tell all the softwares in your system, psst, psst, hey you, yeah you, go ask this guy how to interpret colors. And you just let ACES handle all the color configurations. Not only that, but you tell everyone else on your platform, hey, just sync on ACES. And they can download the same folder and make sure they have exactly the same configuration. And this is a simplified explanation. There are a few more things to keep in mind, like the fact that if you try to import something that's not natively ACES into your workflow, you need to convert it to that. An example of that is all the images on the internet, you know, a tiny little detail. But really, you're always doing color management, whether you know it or not. The only difference is that with ACES, you need to be a little bit more conscious of it, because usually your software takes care of it automatically. This is a cornerstone of digital images. If you're moving your image from one software to another and the information gets press, it's never gonna color correct correctly. Color correct correctly. Films don't look good because they're on ACES. Films look good because they have good color science. And it's a lot easier to get good color science when you're on an ACES workflow. A lot of smaller productions don't really get into it. And I, I really believe that if anyone would benefit from having a color pipeline that's easier to manage, 
it is a small production. So if you've never dived into ACES, my recommendation is the following. Download ACES with the link down below, put it somewhere you'll be able to find, and then find a good tutorial on how to activate ACES on whatever software you're using. Use ACES CG or CCT, that's a version of it. I'm currently using 1.2. All your files should be open EXRs, uncompressed, and be mindful of viewer transforms. That's something that could potentially mess colors up. One last disclaimer, I am not a colorist nor a DIT, so if there are any mistakes, please feel free to correct me in the comments. However, I would much rather make a mistake here in video and show what I know about it. So hopefully if someone brings it up, it doesn't catch you off guard. And maybe this is like a good introduction video so you can go out and learn about ACES. It can save you a lot of time. So that's what I got. My name is William Windmill. These were my thoughts on ACES. If you like these technical subjects, let me know so I can keep doing them. This really is a small channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to have you around. Have fun with ACES. Cheers.